Okay, what we have is a croton. This is a croton plant and has croton scale. And the way you see the croton scale, it looks those little lumps right in there that have, they look like just little lumps. It's hard to see, but what you have is a carpenter ant now that's in the area. It's kind of windy and, but you see carpenter ants all over them. Let me take it over here. And you see the sooty mold? Okay, so the carpenter ant, what is doing is feeding off of the excrement of the scale. And the scale's excrement is nothing but sugar called honeydew. And trying to see if we can let you see the see them underneath the little white underneath the leaves. Those are small scale, but the really large ones, these things are right here. And you can see me moving it. Let me see, let me show you. Uh, right there, you see me moving that? These little, and it looks like it's part of the plant, but it's not, that's actually the scale. And there's the carpenter ant. Carpenter ant won't bite, but you know, it won't sting, but they can give you a nasty bite if you aggregate them. Their mandibles are large. So people get freaked out when they see them, they think they got large fire ants. But that's all it is, is just the, uh, the sooty mold on the uh, on there that's growing because of the sugar that's available so the mold can actually grow on the plant. And then the relationship between ants and scale and aphids and mealybugs on plants is that all of the excrement is honeydew. And you can see that you see them right underneath, put it right under there so you can see it. They're all tending to the sugar that's there. And that's what they're feeding off of. 